I want to be with you along the way. Nothing else will do. Welcome back to Every Day. Sarah and I are still talking about journaling and the importance of journaling. We talked about you don't have to have a very fancy journal. You can just use a simple notebook. Sarah has a very fancy journal that she um, had uh, purchased years ago that has little pockets on the inside. Um, we have some notes. friends, uh, Randy and Tina Bill at Fiery Music and Lessons. They contacted us, said, we'd like to help your group out in some way. What can we do? And we said, well, we really want to teach journaling. And Tina loves journaling. So she went out and bought 25 journals for our kids this summer and donated them to our house church. Um, so you're going to take your journal each day and you're going to write down. You can do it at the beginning of the day. You can do it at the end of the day. But just write down some things that happen during the day, how you feel about it. Kind of interview yourself and think about what that means to you in that moment. Because the things that happen to us in life, they don't just happen one day and then we forget about them and that's the end of it. Most things impact us through the days and the weeks and the months and the years to come. We don't really realize till we look back at those events and we go, oh wow, that really did change me. And so you wanna write those things down so that way you can go back and reflect, but just concentrate on today. Don't go back, if you skipped a couple days in journaling, don't go back and try to rewrite everything that happened until you concentrate on today. And then take those things and make them part of your prayer time as you're spending time with Jesus, okay? And so we've been talking about different things that you can do in your journal as part of your journaling time. And uh, today's is a lot of creative people, whether they're writers, um, we, we were talking about musicians oh, yeah. do this, yeah. inventors, um, they use their journal as a way of brainstorming yeah. and coming up with different ideas that they're not really ready to express to other people yet, but they can write things down unfiltered, uncensored, mm -hmm. without criticism, without judgment. Maybe you have an idea in mind and you don't really know if it's going to work or not. And so you can write about it in your journal and then you can do little experiments seeing does this really work or is this really true? Especially when you use the Word of God to help you as a guide. When you have an idea, you want to line it up with the Word of God first because you know that the Word of God is always true. So you want to make sure that your idea lines up with the Word of God. And Sarah, um, we were talking about Jeremiah 29, 11 and how God ha has promises and He has a purpose for us. And as we write some of these things down, some of these ideas down, we can test them against the Word of God. Yeah. So Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, I'm going to read. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me, and you will find me, and when you seek me with all your heart. Again, verse 13, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Yeah. So as you're writing some of your ideas down, you're brainstorming different things, make sure that they line up with the will of God because you want God's will for you yes. to come to pass. And when you start expressing those ideas to other people, you want to make sure that they really line up with God's will and not just your own will or those thoughts and those feelings line up with God's will and not just your own feelings. Because yeah. that leads to so much disappointment 
in our lives, when we think inside of our head that something is true, but we haven't tested yeah, whether that is really true or not. Yeah. So you can use it to express uh, brainstorm ideas. You can also use it to uh, flush out unresolved feelings, feelings of anger, feelings of frustration. Yes. You can write them down in your yes. journal, not on social media, just in your journal, confide completely in the Lord through your journal, and then over time, let God go back and help heal those wounds in your heart instead of just bouncing them off other people, looking for somebody to go, oh yeah, you're totally justified in feeling right. that way. No, trust the Lord, trust the Holy Spirit. God wants to heal you. Yes. But sometimes you just need to air those feelings out and you can safely do that in your journal. Absolutely.